This is Valerie Lyons with your News in 90. Senator John McCain is lying in state in the U.S. Capitol building. People are visiting Washington, D.C. to pay their respects to the late senator. McCain was honored by his congressional colleagues and members of the public at an open ceremony. The senator becomes the 31st person to lie in state in the U.S. Capitol Rotunda, joining the likes of Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan. His body will remain in the rotunda until tomorrow when he'll be moved to the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland to be buried. Eight people are now confirmed dead in a New Mexico bus crash. A tire blew out on a semi-truck heading east on Interstate 40, causing it to crash head-on with a Greyhound bus. The bus, carrying 49 passengers, was traveling west from Albuquerque to Phoenix when the semi veered across the median. The impact was so powerful, debris was found hundreds of feet away. Authorities say the investigation is still ongoing and that a single tire blowout should not have caused such a severe crash. The National Transportation Safety Board says it will send 10 investigators to the site. A St. Louis circuit attorney is questioning the credibility of more than two dozen police officers. Attorney Kim Gardner, the city's top prosecutor, sent a list of 28 St. Louis police officers she does not find credible to the department. Gardner says she will not be prosecuting cases they oversaw or calling the officers to testify. She released a public statement saying there must be trust in the accuracy and honesty of police officers' reports. Police union spokesman Jeff Rorta says the union is demanding the list remain private in order to protect the reputations of the officers. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at wuft.org.